Lisa Hemsley Lane is one of those people whose repertoire includes firearms, fencing, taekwondo, karate, horsemanship, swimming, wire work, and dirt bike riding. She's a Hollywood stunt woman at the top of her game. And when she's not engaged in an amazing martial arts fight sequence, like in Charlie's Angels 2, Full Throttle, or working as a stunt double in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, she's enjoying a relaxing day of motocross racing at a day in the dirt. Girl Wonder interviewed Alisa at this annual event, which is sponsored by the Hollywood stunt and film community. Alisa, what race are you participating in today? My husband and I are racing the Stunt GP, which is actually a team race. It's an hour and a half, and what will happen is he'll do a lap, and then I'll do a lap. And we, we have a little wristband so they know that we're not cheating. And uh, it's an hour and a half, and it's just it's it's mostly stunt and film industry people, and it but it's a lot of families. So it's a great time to just come out and enjoy the camaraderie of the friends and the people that you work with, only you get to race with them. So it's a good time. Do you feel any pressure because you're in a team with your husband? A little bit, because he's used to winning, and I'm not. So, <laughs> so he pushes me a little bit, but it's good. How did you get involved in the stunt work? Um, I was actually studying uh, English literature in college and uh, ended up going on a, an audition for a show that was kind of stunt involved. It was kind of American Gladiators type show on horseback in a competition. I met a number of stunt people on that and just really kind of fell into it. It really made sense as far as what I wanted to do with my career. I found a career because I'd always been a tomboy growing up. So it just kind of everything fell into place and made sense that that's what I wanted to do. Did you ride motorcycle before doing stunt work? Very little. I actually uh, started riding more and more the more people I met and I realized that you have, to, you have to develop a lot of skills. You have to have a wide range of talents in order to double like a lead on a show. They don't want to hire two people to do the same job because one person has to ride a motorcycle and the other person has to fight. So you need to train in a lot of different areas to be a stunt person. What is your favorite type of stunt work? Falls, fight scenes, horseback riding, motorcycle stunts? My favorite stunts are usually doing martial arts because I've done a lot of heavily martial arts and wire work films. I did uh, Cameron Diaz in uh, Charlie's Angels and Terminator 3, I doubled Kristana Loken. She was the TX and she ran and jumped off an embankment onto a moving hearse. Have you ridden a motorcycle for any of the movies you've worked on? I actually, I doubled Nicole Kidman on The Interpreter when they uh, needed someone that could kind of be a motorcycle specialist because they had a, a moped, a scooter, that was acting kind of naughty, that it was, it, it slid out in the rain, it did a couple things, so they said, okay, who can we get that can ride a scooter in the rain for Nicole Kidman, and I got to go out to New York for a week and do that, so that was a good, a good time. So you ride a scooter in New York? Yeah, in New York and in traffic and between buses and the whole thing, and it was, it was great. <laughs> so do you need special training for the work you're doing? The stunt work requires a variety of training. Uh, different stunt people will have backyard workouts where they practice high falls or where they practice fights and things. It's good to have a really strong background in one area, whether it's motocross or martial arts or gymnastics, something that you're really strong at. But then we all need to train in, in a variety of different things. So we end up, like Monday we'll go to a, a taekwondo class. Tuesday we'll go motorcycle riding. Wednesday we'll do something else. Thursday we'll go to the beach. And riding is a big part of our training because it's good cardiovascular. And it's good for hand-eye coordination. It's, you know, if, if you're doing track riding or even if you're going out and doing trail riding, it's, uh, it's to, to us, to my family, it's integral. My, my, my husband grew up riding since he was about five years old. He's been racing. So he's been able to help me a lot in my skills and developing that. And he does all the crazy wheelies. And he did a high-speed lay down on the freeway the other day for uh, Knight Rider, the TV show. It just, the more you can do... It takes a lot of time, but you need to really cross-train in everything you can think of to do stunts. How do you combine family and work? It's, it's difficult at times. You just make things work out. I'm, today, my, my daughter's here, and I have a four-month-old son, and we also brought him to the track. I think it's just going to be a part of their lives as they grow up. They're going to become familiar with it. A lot of people have stunt families where ne the next generation become stunt people because it's what they grow up around. So you just, you have to make it work. I mean, you, you, you can get help at home and a babysitter, but my husband and I just try to tag team and, and bring the kids to whatever we can so they see what we do, so they understand it. What are you currently working on? I'm actually uh, working on a show called Chuck on NBC. I doubled Yvonne Strahovski, and it's, uh, it's kind of at a comedy action, and it's great because it's in town, and we get to work close to home, and it's a lot of fun, a lot of action. Watch it. <laughs> If there's anything else you want to add? Uh, just out here supporting Day in the Dirt and my group, V10 Women's Stunt Professionals, out here supporting the race. Hi to everybody out there racing.